So just for fun, we're going to play with sliders. Sliders are uh, allowing us to change numbers without typing the number in. Um, so what I've written up here is x minus a and created a slider for a. Um, so right now a is at 0. And then y minus b quantity squared and I made a slider for b. And then I equal c squared because, you know, again, our formula was x squared plus y squared equals c squared. And we got a slider for c. So right now c is 3. So our circle is has a radius of 3. 0, 2, 3. And if I, you know, make this bigger, you, know, you see as c is getting bigger, you know, circle's getting bigger. Let's see if I can make it six. Six. There we go. Um, zero, zero means I'm centered at zero. So there. And then six means our radius went out to six. Um, fun part about sliders and Desmos is you can make them play themselves. So right now our slider is set to run between negative ten and ten. So it's going to shrink and grow and shrink and grow and shrink and grow. Mm. Yeah. Negative radius kind of doesn't make sense, but then again, we're squaring that number anyways. So that's how big things are. All right, so um, let's actually make it a little smaller. And then let's zoom out a little. All right, so now um, x minus a. a right now is 0. So if I let this play, which way will it move? Right now it's going a is minus, so it's moving to the left and a is minus and it's going oh now the a is plus and it's moving to the right all right because stop so this is, says a is 3.6 so this is going to be x minus 3.6 which means it's over here to the right 3.6 um let's bring you back to zero can you guess what we're going to do next yes we're going to do B next and we're gonna let B play and it's going down and then it's gonna bounce go up so right now this says B equals 6 so right here is gonna be Y minus 6 again being backwards minus 6 in the equation says it's up 6 so I'm just going to let it play. And then the fun is when we let them both play. And it, uh, oh, I didn't let them both play. Now let them both play. There we go. And it's going to go all around because they're moving. And we can really get silly and let the size play too. Oh, went away. Come on. That's kind of a pain. Um, but see what you can see, things you can do. So that's the idea of sliders and circles. Um, you could actually, let's get this to stop. Boom. Um, we could even play with those exponents. Remember we had said that it had to be two? Well, that makes a circle, but what if we make that a slider? Right now, D is 1. Ooh, and if it's some fraction, look at that. What shape do we got? I don't know what shape that's called. We got 2 and we got a circle. All right, now let's go 2.4, and we're getting something else. Interesting, huh? So there's, you know, there's graphs for most everything. So let's go three, and hey, let's make that one. That now this isn't circles anymore, obviously, but now we're just playing. Now we're just fiddling around. Let's put them both at three. Well, that's strange looking. Well, let's put them both at four. Well, I don't know what that is. There's a four for that and three 
for hey that made my circle and kind of made it a box interesting so um you can play with anything in the equation sliders are nice because they let you kind of see a lot of variables um but you know, let's get rid of those sliders and then put that back to squared because again we're talking we're talking circles right now um oh that's not a squared there we go so there's our circles and again sliders it, it's really simple you just uh you know you type in a well, i guess i'd have to get rid of slider a you tell it you know hey type in x minus a and it says do you want to add a slider a and i said yeah do that so fun with sliders obviously you can play with any equation that way let's go let's go uh remember we just did sine cosine tangent kind of thing um let's do sine x look there's a graph let's uh, zoom in on it a little bit we could put a slider in front of it a we could put a slider in front of the x b we could add a number to it c and we could see how things change if i change the coefficient it makes it grow if I change the number in front of X it makes more of them show up or fewer of them and then more again if I change this it's gonna raise it up and down now yeah. so sliders